I'm Zachary Fowler and this is how to pick out the right slingshot for you. What do I do? There's so many different types of slingshots. Which one do I get? Well, there's two different variants for the most part on slingshots. We have an over the top, like this one, which the slingshot bands pull over the top. And then there's a through the fork slingshot, like this one, where they pull around the side and you're shooting through the forks. After that, you have several different variants on that aspect of them, where you have your small tube speed shooter, like this, or you'll have a pickle fork, which has like no fork gap whatsoever, and it requires you to twist the pouch or tweak it to get it to flip over the top so it doesn't hit. And then you have your, um, I don't know what you call them, ambidextrous, <laughs> you got, which are through the forks uh, or over the top. This can be turned so you can shoot through the forks or over the top. And if you're a beginner, I'm gonna recommend that you look for something like that. This is the best way to start out because you can try both methods. The Scout Slingshot, which we sell on our website, and the Axiom Ocularis are both great. And uh, our GZK G-Shot is also both ways. The easy, quick attachment of going on the tubes like this um, bands like this uh, is the only way that it can go is over the top, but you can also tie them on. It's a great slingshot. Any of these slingshots you will not be unsatisfied with. The only ones I would recommend that is not beginner level slingshots would be the Torque and the Jelly Bean. They look, Jelly Bean sounds like great, it's a little nice little kid slingshot, but because of the small fork gap it requires, and the same here, the smaller fork gap it requires a slightly higher level of sophistication. But if you have purchased it, you can learn to use it. There's no reason why you can't just by following our shooting instructions on how to shoot safely. Check out the How to Shoot a Slingshot playlist here on YouTube for more videos in this series that'll help you get going with your slingshot shooting. And for even more information on how to shoot a slingshot, you can find it on FowlersMakerAndMischief.com on our How to Shoot a Slingshot page. All right, so you got over the top, through the forks, and then you have the different types of whether they're for tubes, they're ambidextrous and they can go through the forks or over the top. And then you get to different grips. So you got a different grips like this. Then you have ones that are designed to be thumb braced, all of which are great, as well as the old hammer, as well as hammer grips like Jorg's slingshot here, which grips just like a hammer as if you're pounding in a nail. A very stable grip, very stable slingshot. Also a great beginner slingshot right there that we sell on our website. Um, any slingshot you get from us is going to be a great slingshot for you. You'll learn how to use it. You'll be satisfied with it. If you're a small, younger person, I recommend the Axiom Ocularis or the Scout, or you might enjoy our new Hornet slingshot right here. This is my everyday carry, my favorite. It looks tiny, but it is in a great back pocket slingshot. It shoots over the top. It'll work great for young or old, professional, whatever it is. I love this thing. I love all my slingshots though. There had never met a slingshot I didn't love outside of the pickle fork, and I just don't think they're slingshots. The last variant you want to think about before buying a slingshot is what are you going to shoot? Are you going to shoot rocks? Are you going to shoot uh, cans out of the air? or are you gonna shoot targets at 10 meters or a little bit further? The difference being, you might want a speed shooter which shoots up to 20 feet and can shoot things out of the air. It's a quick reload, you can snap off a lot of shots real fast, but you're only gonna be shooting 3 8 or 7 16 ammo or with a bigger pouch, maybe you shoot a marble, but you're not gonna shoot beyond 20 feet. For target shooting, you're gonna to wanna to shoot something like the Axiom Ocularis. This will allow you to shoot accurately with flat bands up to, I don't know, maybe even 60 feet sometimes. I've made some shots very easily, um, with practice obviously. <laughs> and uh, then you have your, my favorite for shooting rocks is over the top with the Scout Slingshot. You're gonna want a bigger pouch. 
and a bigger, heavier band set for shooting a heavier weight. And you can easily fling heavy rocks. You gotta have the right stuff for the right gear. This is the best one, or Jorg's here with a large fork gap that you can shoot over the top with this and the tight on band set. Some of these also come with clips that are quick clips. And not to crowd your mind with too much information, the hammer from Simple Shot. This thing is a sling bow. If you attach this piece, you can shoot arrows or you can shoot like this. And when I am having a frustrating day and I'm missing a lot, I go to through the forks with the hammer slingshot. It's wrist brace here, allows for super stability. It's only a hundred bucks, but it is like the best investment in slingshot technology and anything, the best thing you can get out there, you can shoot through the forks or over the top. In conclusion, people are always asking me, what slingshot do I pick? And I really can't tell you. I can tell you what my favorites are, but you shouldn't pick one based on that. You should pick one based on the criteria I've given you and then say, that one feels like a good fit for me and then shoot it and get good with it because you can with any of these. But my three favorite are first, my new Hornet that we came up with, not just because it's my slingshot and everything else, but because it's my favorite everyday carry. It's the best pocket slingshot that goes in your back pocket. It works great. I love it. Secondly is the Axiom Ocularis. It's a great slingshot. This is the one that Nathan Masters designed and we sell, and he got ninth place in the World Cup with this slingshot right here. And it's also very, very close to almost perfect for a everyday carry as well as the just like the Hornet going in your back pocket it's only a little bit thicker so playing with it out in the yard and having it in your back pocket it works great for that and it threw the fork over the top it's awesome and lastly I have to say my favorite my last third favorite is the GZK speed shooter here that we sell on the website because I love shooting cans and stuff like that out of the air and this allows me to reload really quickly and to be able to shoot stuff out of the air with tubes like this it's awesome, great little slingshot. Um, but, like I have said before a million times, I've never met a slingshot I didn't love, except for a pickle fork. So that's all I got for you. Have fun picking out a slingshot that fits you best, and if you don't have a huge budget for it, you can always just pick out a band set from our website, which each band set comes with one pouch tied on and an extra band set, and you can watch our videos on how to tie on bands, and you could go out and cut a fork yourself they're just as accurate. You can see it in my videos. I shoot natural forks all the time, and I can hit stuff just as easily with one of those. Subscribe by hitting the link in the top right, and hit the link in the top left for FowlersMakeryMischief.com, where you can get your slingshots, survival gear, replacement bands, a little bit of everything you see me playing with in the videos. And if you're looking for a slingshot we don't carry, you can probably find it on SimpleShot.com. Check them out. Link below and in the description. Fowler out.